the Muhammad Ali, Cleveland Williams, belt for the heavyweight championship of the world. This is Bill Caton with Jim Jacob taking you to the Astrodome for the heavyweight championship bout. Jim, where are we right now? This is Houston's fabulous Astrodome, Bill. Inside the Astrodome, there's a big, brightly lit sign which says, Welcome to the Astrodome, the eighth wonder of the world. And in fact, Houston believes that. That's quite a crowd they have that night, isn't it? I believe it was estimated about uh, 35,000 people attended the Astrodome's first heavyweight championship fight. That's Joe Lewis, the famous ground bomber who's got more friends in the world probably than any other living fighter. Here's challenger Cleveland Williams, the big cat, entering the ring. He got a tremendous ovation from the crowd. He's very popular then. He's generally conceded to be the hottest punching challenger Muhammad has ever faced. Yes, that's true. Here's Muhammad Ali, the brilliant, fast boxing heavyweight champion. Ali is staying warm in there, bouncing up and down. This is his, generally his conduct before all of his fights. What does Muhammad weigh tonight? He weighed 212 and a half pounds, Bill, to Cleveland Williams, 210 pounds. There's an excellent close-up of the champion. Cleveland Williams introduced to the crowd. And next, Muhammad Ali, doing his little shuffle there, the famous Muhammad Ali shuffle, which befuddles everyone. Here are the fighters getting the last moment ring instructions from the referee, Bill, before this heavyweight championship contest begins. Muhammad Ali, heavyweight champion, moves out in white trunks, and challenger Cleveland Williams in black trunks, pursuing Ali. Muhammad always moves very fast in the first round. Why does he do this? Well, there are many reasons, but the one that I think is uh, most important to the champion is that naturally he's a little nervous, as any, any fighter would be in a heavyweight championship fight. So it has the combined effect of working the edge off, though, and also, uh, while he's moving around with that blinding speed, nobody can hit him. Seems to me he'd probably be puddles his opponents, too, to say the least. When you're in there with a challenger like Cleveland Williams, who carries knockout power with either hand, you better keep moving. Here in round one, Bill Muhammad moving to the left, moving to the right, never letting Williams get a good crack at him. And you know Williams has just one thought in his mind, and that's to land that devastating left hook on the champion's jaw. Muhammad's been the most active heavyweight champion, hasn't he? This is his sixth title defense. I believe it's his seventh title defense, Bill, although uh, I believe that Mohammed has defended five times this year. This is his fifth title defense in 1966, but it's a total of seven title defenses since he beat Sonny Lifton for the heavyweight championship in Miami Beach. Look at that left. Probably the best left jab in the business. The only one who ever came close to Bill Lewis. Seems to me that Muhammad's even faster. Yes, I believe that's a fact. I have never seen a heavyweight champion who throws faster punches than Muhammad Ali. Floyd Patterson had brilliant hand speed, but heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali, I believe, is the fastest punching heavyweight I've ever seen. During this past year, he's beaten Paul Mildenberger, Ryan London, Henry Cooper, George Chevalo in addition to previous defenses against Patterson and Lister. Look at that little shuffle. Tremendous punching by Muhammad Ali. You know, Billy got in about seven punches there before Cleveland Williams could react. Cleveland Williams is trying to corner Muhammad, but who can corner so fast a fighter? Everyone 
who has ever fought Muhammad Ali, has tried in vain to get him caught on the ropes where they could land those big punches. And there's the end of round one. This now here we are in round two. Challenger Cleveland Big Cat Williams in black trunks, still pursuing the champion, trying to get in that big left hook. But it's Clay who lands a tremendous left hook. The referee is the famous Harry Kessler, isn't he? Yes, Harry Kessler, who has refereed many heavyweight championship fights, is in there. Very competent referee. Another left hook by Mohammed. the champion getting in those lefts. He's never still for a moment. Mohammed tying Cleveland Williams up in the clinches. Notice how the champion jabs and moves, jabs and moves, Phil. I think Cleveland was up for this fight, but never expected to have so ferocious and fast control. He's trying, but he just can't seem to get unwound. Well, everyone who fights Muhammad Ali has that additional problem of not only coping with his fighting ability, but having to contend with that marvelous speed of the champion. Look at that. Challenger Cleveland Williams punching at a champion who wasn't there once the, once the punch was let go. But Muhammad is really sharp tonight, isn't he? His timing is beautiful. It certainly is. Ali tying up the challenger in the clinches. It appears as if Williams tries to get a punch off. Now watch this, Bill. A one-two and Williams goes down. He gets up at the count of three, but there's a mandatory eight count. So referee Harry Kessler continues the count. Challenger Cleveland Williams. Lord for the first time in this fight. Now Clay moves in there. Throwing combinations. The punches and Williams goes down again. This time he's a, he's up at the count of three, but again the mandatory eight count is in effect. Kessler counting off the seconds as the champion retreats to a neutral corner. Williams is bleeding from the punch nose and one or two other cuts at this time too, isn't he? Yes, he is. Well, those were very hard punches by the champion. Again, Williams goes down and this time he's flat on his back. Four. There's the bell, and Williams is saved at the end of round two. It appeared, Bill, as if he wasn't going to get up. What have Angelo Dundee held Muhammad between rounds? Between this, this second and third round, Dundee, the brilliant trainer of Muhammad Ali, told the champion to be careful because he was afraid that the champion would go out there and throw caution to the winds. Williams is always dangerous. And Angelo Dundee knows that. Tremendous punching by, by Ali. Brilliant. And again, Cleveland Williams goes down for the fourth time here in round three. Williams is up at the count of four, but again, the mandatory eight count goes into effect. Williams is 30 game. He's showing great courage. Coming back after this beating. Look at that tremendous flurry by the champion. This certainly answers the question whether Muhammad Ali can punch. It's apparent that Williams is in desperate trouble. Look at his face there, Jack. And referee Kessler steps in and stops the fight. Muhammad Ali, heavyweight champion of the world still. No question after this fight, they're comparing Muhammad to the greatest of all time fighters from the standpoint not only of speed, which everyone had known, but from the standpoint of punching power as well. 
He really hit hard. There's no question about it. Muhammad Ali still the champion. The picture of